Hello friends, now we will discuss about nutrition topic which is our first topic in our 10th class biology curriculum. So when we say about nutrition, what is nutrition? Why we really need nutrition? How we will get nutrition to our body? To answer this, first of all we should understand that why we need to take food as input. What is the necessity of food? So when we say about why food, food is necessary for all living organisms for two main things. The first thing is for the growth of the living organisms and the second one is to maintain the body temperature. What are the main two things? That is first one is for the growth of the living organisms and the second one is to maintain the body temperature. When we say about nutrition, nutrition may be classified mainly into two categories that is autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. What is autotrophic nutrition? Autotrophic nutrition is nothing but the living organisms which make their food on their own is called autotrophic nutrition. And which cannot make their food on their own is called heterotrophic nutrition. So all heterotrophic nutrients will depend upon the autotrophs for generating their own food. The best example for autotroph is nothing but plants. Majority of the plants generate their own food by photosynthesis. We will come across photosynthesis, what is photosynthesis and where it happens in the next session. Coming to the heterotrophic nutrition, all heterotrophs depends on the autotrophs for generating their own food. Say about single cellular organisms to multicellular organisms. What is single cellular organisms? The best example for single cellular organism is nothing but amoeba. From amoeba to animals and living beings like human beings and all depends on the autotrophs for generating their own food. Let us come to the autotrophs. When we say about plants, plants generate their food by photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Where it happens? Generally in previous sessions, previous classes we come across that photosynthesis will happen in the plant leaves and plant leaves are in green color. Why? Because chlorophyll is there in the plant leaves. What is chlorophyll? The green pigment available in the plant leaves is nothing but Chlorophyll. Photosynthesis happen in chlorophyll. Where exactly chlorophyll will, will be there in the plant leaves? In the chloroplast. In the chloroplast, where exactly is happening? What is photosynthesis? What are the main factors involved in photosynthesis? Let us see about all those things right now. Photosynthesis. What are the ingredients or factors involved in the photosynthesis? The main factors involved in photosynthesis are First one is light that will come from the sun. It will, sun light will be absorbed by the plants. And then what is the next thing? We already read about all these things in the previous classes. That is nothing but carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is necessary for the photosynthesis. And the, what is the third one? It's nothing but water. How plants will absorb these three factors into it? Sunlight from the sun and from air it absorbs carbon dioxide and from the soil by means of root it will absorb water and other minerals. So by means of these three factors photosynthesis is going to happen in the plant leaves where exactly? In the chlorophyll. Where the chlorophyll will be existed? In the chloroplast. What is the chloroplast? What are the uh, levels or what is chloroplast exactly? It is a membrane like structure. What are the parts in the chloroplast? How sunlight will be absorbed into the plant? Chloroplast is having three membrane like structure and the inside one is grana and stroma. All scientists believe that grana is the responsible part which will absorb the sunlight. That is nothing but phota. The small molecule of sunlight, small unit of light is called phota. So that grana is responsible for receiving the light that is nothing but phota. So then it will splits the water molecule into other complex substances. So for splitting the water molecule into the other carbon dioxide and to generate glucose, this is called photolysis. What is this? Photolysis. In the photolysis phase, the, the grana will receive the light from the sunlight and it will process the rest of reactions in the photosynthesis. The next one is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is received from the air and it will participate in the photosynthesis after the light phase. 
So, what is the next one? Water will be absorbed from the roots, from the soil by means of roots. So, water and carbon dioxide with the sunlight, it is going to split into glucose and it gives water and it releases oxygen as output. The water released in the photosynthesis will be used by the plant parts and the oxygen it cannot anyway, it cannot going to be used for the plant so it releases into the air which is the living glass which is the uh, life for the all living organisms. So this is how photosynthesis happen in the chlorophyll, in the chloroplast.